Connell, congratulations, two year deal. How yeah. happy are you? Yeah, really happy. Obviously, uh, you know, I, I really wanted to stay in that. You know, I think uh, over the last couple of years, you know, I've I've really got to know the club well and and stuff like that. You know, and towards the end of the second year, you know, you, you start end up becoming like a fan as well as you know, you see the fans and how passionate they are for the club and stuff and. You know, to be able to play for a club like Notts County, you know, I feel very privileged to, you know, have the opportunity to play here. Like, and you know, it's, it's a great club with great history, and the fan base is brilliant. It's one of the main reasons why I wanted to stay. Ian Birchall's style of play really came to the fore towards the end of the mm-hmm. season. Um, obviously, it's a, a back three uh, system that he mm-hmm. likes to deploy. He yeah. sees you as the centre point of that. Is that mm-hmm. a role that you're relishing for next season? Yeah, obviously, I played a little bit to the right, you know, in the back three, you know, when we, we switched to that system and stuff. And, you know, I've had a few conversations with the gaffer and he wants to obviously move me more centrally and that which will suit me, you know, what I bring to the table, you know, leadership, you know, communication skills, you know, I'd like to feel like I can lead the line very well. Um, and just attributes that I bring to the table is probably more fitting for me to play in that central role. So, but like you say, you know, the gaffer's, his knowledge for the game is... He's so he's got so much knowledge, you know, tactical and stuff. His training sessions are on point every day, and like you say, another big factor of wanting to stay was to be involved with that. You know, it's an enjoyable enjoyable environment to be in, um, and like you say, his training sessions just on point all the time. It's something that as a footballer, when you want to come to train every day, you need to be enjoying your training and the system that you're playing. So you know, I'm really looking forward to obviously cracking on in pre season with that, and and hopefully I can make that position my own. You mentioned the fans uh, earlier. Mm-hmm. Um, but fingers crossed it's going to be a full season with them back by our side. Yeah. How much yeah. are you looking forward to that? Well, like you say, obviously you kind of you kind of forget because of this period of time we had without fans what, what it's like. And then obviously towards the back end of the season, you know, we had the Weymouth game, the Chesterfield game. And, you know, it's something as a footballer, you know, when you look back, you know, that they're the type of things you'll miss playing in front of the fans, you know, and the love they've got for the club and the passion they've got for the club. You know, it's easy for us players to to leave everything out on the pitch and put everything on the line because you know what you're fighting for at the end of the day. And, uh, you know, like I said before, it's, it's one of the main reasons why I wanted to stay because of the fans and, and how big the club is. And how good is it, from your point of view, to have two years set, settled uh, yeah. here at Meadow Lane? Well, yeah, obviously, I, I signed a two-year deal initially when I first came and when I found out, obviously, the gaffer wanted to keep me at the club and, you know, sign another two years, you know, I, I thought to myself, you know, it's I can make, you know, a a little bit of a kind of legacy for yourself, you know, try and get good games on the board. And when you leave a club with this stature, you know, you've left a little piece of yourself with the club like. So, you know, for me to stay here for another two years, hopefully I can I can go and do that.